YouTube, so today I'm going to be showing you how to fix a file corruption in Windows Live Movie Maker, which is kind of like a newbie thing that's just kind of a default editing software that actually is pretty dang good. So, yeah, if you add one of these videos, this is the right one, but if you add one of these videos, it might be corrupted and... I have added a lot of videos and they they all actually end up being corrupted which is really annoying because then you have to start all over pretty much. And the only way to fix a corruption file is to either delete it or do it this way which I'm just about to show you which is the good way. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have this open and also your internet browser and you're going to want to type in this link or copy and paste it and it's going to be in the description below and you're going to want to download Kodak this Kodak pack that at the K white mega Kodak pack and you just do the, this mirror and you install it and everything it's all good and then after that you can type in Kodak and that will actually bring up this and under it it will probably say K light mega Kodak pack uninstall and that's what you're gonna want to do you're gonna want to uninstall it I know it kind of sounds weird and you just downloaded it it took a little while it kind of just wasted your time but actually what comes with it is QuickTime movie player which is the solution to this problem um I guess you could just download uh QuickTime movie player but this way definitely worked for me the best so I'm just showing you the way I did it and the way that it worked for me. Um, so after that is done, um, the you're going to want to go to your movie clips and you'll see that it will be on a QuickTime movie player, which is actually, it handles HD really well. It has all the Kodak in it, so it will actually handle HD and not corrupt the files and Windows Media Player which is this thing I think wasn't really working for me it corrupted a lot of my files and now that this is the default it handles HD it I'm using a flip so of course it's HD and it's just been a great little solution for me and I've been using it for a while and it's good so that is how you fix it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tutorials. I'm going to have more up soon and also go to my other channel for montages, Beta Scopes M-Series. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.